Hello rescuers, welcome to Fire Engineering Training Minutes. I'm Dave Darample. In this segment we're going to talk about trunk tunneling. Now the first thing that comes to mind when you hear trunk tunneling for vehicle extrication is the vehicles under road a larger vehicle, say a, a box truck or a tractor trailer. But also take into consideration too today, what happens if your tools can't cut or sever the roof posts and you have no access to the sides of the vehicle or the sides are so damaged you can't get the sides open either. Think about the kind of construction and materials that go into vehicles today. So one of the things that, even though it might sound far-fetched, it's becoming more and more a reality is maybe we need to displace the back of the vehicle in some way, shape, or form. And one of the ways to do that is to tunnel through the trunk to get to our occupants in the front. Now, in order to do this, we have to go, we have to force the trunk. When the trunk lifts up, we either cut it, or displace it in some way, we cut the package deck, get rid of that, we get rid of the seat back after that, and then the seat bottom will follow that. We'll follow that, get that out of the way, and then we'll be to the front seats to, to where our patients are to get them out. So now let's watch this evolution as we walk through it and the crew walks through and shows you how to do it step by step. Rescuers, the crew is going to come in to start our trunk tunneling evolution. First they're going to make a purchase point, then they're going to force the trunk. Now once the trunk is open, they're going to come in, they're going to inspect to see if there's any type of debris, any type of materials or anything like that that needs to be moved out prior to starting the trunk tunneling evolution. Then they'll actually cut the trunk off the vehicle. Okay, rescuers, now that we've taken the trunk away from the vehicle, the next part of the vehicle we need to do in our trunk tunneling evolution is we need to remove the package deck. The crew is going to make a relief cut on each side of the package deck with a hydraulic tool, and then they're going to finish the cuts forward with a reciprocating saw and then across the entire deck to get it out of the vehicle.
we're seeing the package shelf being removed. The crew here cut through the torsion bar that hinges the trunk up and down. One of the other options you can do with that torsion bar is either pop it or push it out of the way with either a halligan, a foobar tool, or a small combi tool to get in there, just push it out of the way, and it'll pop out and release. Okay, rescuers, now that we've removed the package shelf, the crew is going to come in and inspect the rear seat back. The rear seat back is usually held at the bottom by either a bolt, a bracket, or a tab of metal, something fairly simple. The crew is going to do two different evolutions here to show you two different options. On the driver's side, we're going to take a combination tool and actually spread the seat back off of the tab. Now, rescuers, on the passenger side, we're going to take the power hydraulic cutter and we're going to actually cut through the tab. Again, this is two different options to show that we can use a variety of different tools in this instance. Now that the crew has finished removing those tabs, the seat back can be removed from the vehicle. We have the option of either leaving the seat bottom in place for the rear seat or taking it out to give us some extra room. Okay, rescuers, to wrap up this evolution, we're going to disentangle the patient at this point. The crew is going to come in, they're going to fold the driver's seat down to extricate the patient, and then they're going to insert a long spine board. Now as you can see, once the board goes in, even with the roof on the vehicle, there's a tremendous amount of space. You have very little difficulty removing the patient from the vehicle. Now again, remember, trunk tunneling can be used for a vehicle for an underride override situation, but also, say we're in a situation where the vehicle has roof posts where you can't sever it with your tools, you can stretch the roof out and do a trunk tunneling to make space to remove your patients just as well. Now we watched how we did the trunk tunneling maneuver step by step. A couple things to remember as we do this though, always, with any kind of tool evolution. You need to put a hard barrier between your patient and the interior rescuer, some sort of hard protection. We also want to cover up sharp edges as we work because we don't want to be injured, nor do we want to injure the patient as they're coming out being disentangled. But one of the things to remember with trunk tunneling as well, hybrids and alternative fuel vehicles, we have to always be careful of what's in the trunk of these vehicles. Specifically, the Honda Civic Hybrid, the Honda Accord Hybrid, and the new Ford Fusion Hybrid and Mercury Milan Hybrid. Those vehicles, the high voltage battery actually lives in this rear seat back itself. So we don't want to tunnel through that trunk area. That would be bad to cut through the high voltage battery. I'd like to thank Homacho. I'd like to thank you for watching Training Minutes. My name is Dave Darenpol. Be safe out there.